what is going on guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how to get the notes in any sample this is going to be really helpful if you have trouble finding like a good baseline to use with the sample where to place your 808s in relation to the sample or even take the notes from a sample that you really like and change it into a completely different instruments etc this is going to allow you to do that um, in addition to that i'm going to give you guys a little update on my beat sales for the people that have been following me for a little bit um, they probably know that I'm starting to sell beats again and just trying to kind of figure out the landscape on how to do it. So, here to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Got some really cool vlogs coming up. I went to two different locations over the past weekend, so I'm going to release those over the next few weeks. And yeah, let's let's get into it. So, to get started, I have this piano loop that I made. And basically what we're going to be doing, as I mentioned previously, is we're going to turn this into MIDI. So we're going to take this right here and then turn it into this. And the great thing about doing this is, one, you'll have your root notes. So you'll be able to really easily pick your bass line, know which notes the 808 should go on to sound the best, and all that good stuff. And then in addition to that, let's say you don't like the piano that was playing, but you really like how it sounds, like the pattern, the melody, the chords, all that stuff. Then what you can do is if you have the MIDI, you can go and change the instruments and it's a lot more versatile and it gives you tons of flexibility as you can totally change up the sample and it's just a really cool thing to know how to do. So in order to do it, we're gonna kind of split it into two parts. So if you listen to this melody again, you can hear that there's chords playing and then a top melody over it. And so in order to get the MIDI for all of it, what we're gonna actually go in and do is we're gonna route this sample to a mixer track. And I have it routed right here. All you have to do is press Control L. All you're gonna do is go up to your fruity parametric EQ. Then just choose a setting with a harsh cut. So something like this is perfect. 20 hertz, 18K hertz cut. All we're going to do here is play the sample and cut out all the highs so you just hear the chords. So now that that's done, all we're going to do is select all, do control alt c. Basically, we're just turning what we just did into an audio file. I mean, that literally is what we're doing. Now, this is what we have. And you can still hear a little bit of the melody playing, but it really doesn't matter. So don't worry about that if a little bit of it is playing. Then I'm gonna move this up by 24. Pitch it all the way up here. It's gonna sound like this. And then you're gonna wanna also route this to a mixer track right here. So we'll just do it right over here. And then you're gonna go to Wave Candy, go to Spectrum, change the max resolution to 4096, increase the scale all the way, turn down the dB range, and then press play. And then if you look right here, it tells you what keys each chord. So right here is the A sharp. We have an A sharp in that chord. Just kind of have to go through each note, just write it down, and then put it in your piano roll. Now, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of tedious, but in all honesty, if you're able to change the notes of chords and stuff like that, just having that flexibility is going to be completely worth it, as that's only going to take you like five to ten minutes tops. In addition to that, sometimes you don't need the full chords, you just need the root note, and so just knowing that will really help you speed up your process in terms of figuring out what's the root note for each part of the samples you're using so you'll get better bass lines, your 808s will sound better, etc. So, so very helpful tip regardless of how you decide to use it. Now to get the melody, it's actually quite a bit easier. You're basically going to do the same thing in reverse, but there's a few less steps and it's a lot quicker. So all you're gonna do is basically gonna flip this around here. So go up here, you can use 40 Hertz, that works fine. And then you're gonna listen to your melody.
and that should be fine. Then we're going to take that, do Control Alt C to consolidate this and turn it into an audio file again. Then we're going to go in here, edit an audio editor, go down here to convert left channel to mono or right channel. It, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. You just go up to the wrench tool right here and go convert score and dump to piano roll. All right, so here's what it turned into and you're gonna wanna move this into a an actual instrument or else it's just gonna sound like this. Cause it's just replaying the sample at different notes. And if you look at it, I can already tell that it isn't the exact dump as I can compare it with the ghost notes right here. But it's really close. There's just a few extra notes. It's typically gonna happen, but it's really easy to figure out which ones those are by just listening to it and comparing it with the original. I'm just gonna cut this over here, move this into this piano right here. Turn on all these again. And then just listen through and see what's, and then just listen through and see what shouldn't be there. So these two. Now, if I play this with the melody. All right, so that is the tip. Hopefully this is helpful, guys. Hopefully this changes the way you guys use samples. Now that that is done, little update on the beat sales so far, for those of you that don't know or new to this channel. Right now I'm getting back into selling beats. I made a few thousand dollars a few years ago when I started selling beats and then I stopped for, I guess like two years now, but I'm getting back into it. And what I've been doing to promote my beats is putting them on BeatStars and then paying for promotion on there just because there's a bunch of artists on there. So I'm assuming that's probably one of the best places to do it. And I've uploaded three beats now and Still no sales, so that's that's a bummer, but you know, only three beats, we're just getting started. However, I am seeing some growth. Specifically today, one of the beats that I uploaded has gotten two downloads now, so all today. Let's go, it's called Digital. Actually cooked this beat up in my last vlog, so check that video out if you wanna see how I made it. But yeah, no sales yet, but that is definitely an improvement. What I'll probably do is put a few more bucks towards this one to see if I can potentially get more people to download it. And in the past like three days or so, oh shit. Like today alone, I'm not running any ads. I got four new followers, so that's good. But yeah, no crazy updates, but one of the good things is, is the way I have it set up is when someone downloads a free beat, I get their email. And so what I'm gonna try and do with those emails if they don't buy the beat that I posted now, I'm gonna reach out to them, build a relationship, and then ideally over time, maybe they'll buy one of the beats and then it'll all be worth it. So yeah, um, just that's that's my update on my beat sales. Like I said, I'll be very transparent with you guys. I'm not gonna lie or say I sold a beat if I didn't, because I haven't yet, but we're gonna get there. So stay tuned.